Welcome to our second day at DPW 2022 in Amsterdam. I'm thrilled to be here in this uh, VIP area with speakers, guests and partners. And today, this morning, I'm sitting here with Björn from McKinsey. So welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you are working uh, uh, at uh, a company, uh, both McKinsey and Orpheus. Um, that's a McKinsey company. And I'm curious, what is on the mind of your clients these days? Yeah, so we, we combine with McKinsey and Orpheus both the advisory and, uh, and solutions. And uh, working with clients, if you see, I think it's the reality that hit us since, since some time with new challenges call it inflation, call it um, overall risk exposure and availability, um, call it as well the requirement to decarbonize supply chains. And uh, that's a new reality. So what we see is that suddenly there are, you could say, more, more currencies for impact that procurement needs to work on. And uh, we see that procurement has a completely different impact on the, on the top line of companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, thus what we think is that data analytics will play a, a bigger role, even more bigger role in order to, to support this. And what about uh, data and analytics? Can you mention an example of this changed role? Yeah, look, I think in the, in the past, um, you looked basically into historic data and you created a relatively stable sourcing strategy that you implemented. And um, we need to now help to support companies um, in the decision making to make better decisions faster and therefore you need to turn data into forward-looking into more predictions into scenario based thinking um, and this you need you need more data um, better precise data and more more data basically on the spot available and that's what we see the change on data analytics from let's say looking in the mirror to looking into the front shield of of the topic do you use uh, any new technologies to do so? I would, I would say um, for sure the, 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 the automation of analytics is, uh, is making a difference. For sure, it's, it's not so much anymore a question of availability of data. It's more a question of intelligently combining data, connecting the dots and taking insights of the data. And what we see is um, it's more an end-to-end -end view, an end-to-end -end view on data. Okay, and what do you mean by this end-to-end -end view? Um, so for us, end-to-end -end is, you could say, multi-directional. Uh, let me give you an example. If you take, if, if you want to manage risk in a company, um, on the one side, you need to understand um, your supply and you need to understand your supplies, you need to understand the risk on the supply base. Mm -hmm. But what you really want to understand is what's the revenue at risk. And for this, you need to understand as well, what's the sales, how does it impact the sales, and what is the production recipe in between spent and, and, and sales on that side. And so it's external data to get in, it's internal data end to end, um, and overall getting a, a richer data set for, for decision making and looking into this. So that's what we think is, is the end to end topic. What organizational implications do you see then? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, because it goes beyond the simple tech and, uh, and data question. That's the one side. Mm -hmm. But if you take it, what we see is you need to bring this to impact. So from data to insights to impact. And um, for this, you need, to, you need to change as well how organizations work with the data. It's first of all, it's a skill question. So when you go back to the initial challenges, it's a broader lever set that procurement needs to manage. Mm -hmm. It's different, different answers to different questions or a different lever set. Um, then you need to have more skills on how do you work with the data analytics? How do you do this? Which is um, new skills to, to classical buying organizations, but as well you need new roles. Mm -hmm. Data scientists, data engineers, um, more BI engineering in front of it. So it's a change in this and all in a uh, more and more um, difficult talent market, where it's difficult to get talent. So, th so that's the one side. Now, if you, what, what I think is if you then build the talent, you still have a change process in your organization because you need to drive more end-to-end decision-making, you need to align end-to-end -end the KPI sets, and uh, it's a management responsibility as well to, to role model this change, to role model how you work with data, how you have data-driven performance discussions. It's about driving the conviction in the organization that it makes sense, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's how you as well reinforce it. And therefore, it's a 
tech question, tech stack question for sure. It's a data question, it's a capability question, and it's a management change question that we need to drive. Yeah, that management question, um, does this mean that procurement has a, a different um, role in the organization? Does, does it become more important? I think so. I think so. But personally, coming from procurement, I think procurement always is important. So let's not say it's coming from not important to important. No, okay. But um, if you look in the past, there was a strong focus on creating net savings and, and managing the supply base. But um, if you think about a day of availability or non-availability has a huge impact on, 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 on the revenue side. So therefore, I believe that um, we can move procurement truly to a um, business impact partner and um, impacting top line, impacting your availability. So it's about how can we drive innovation and how can we drive resilience at the same time. Yeah, so even the CEO of a company has to know more about procurement. So when you're scout for, for agree. talent. I agree, and that, that goes back to one source of truth. So if you take the CEO, we, we should basically help CEOs as well to, for better decision making on supply chain topics that goes through the data. Um, but the discussion to say how can procurement impact what you bring into the market, how can procurement and therefore the supply base that you're managing impact innovation is a fantastic thing. How can you rebalance your supply base to decarbonize? What can you do on global rebalancing on the supply base? These are the topics that we see now relevant. Yeah, and that is what McKinsey is good at. That what you, that's what you advise. That's what, that's what we do on the McKinsey side. Yeah. And we combine it with Orpheus to bring as well the, the, the data and the technology in order to doing it. So we believe in the combination of, of solution and services to make a difference for our clients. Now I understand. Thank you so much for your explanation and thanks for having you this morning. Thanks a lot for inviting me. And yes. I wish you a good day. I wish you a, a good conference. Thanks a lot.